Hello, Namaste everyone. I am Manrai. I am going to talk about the new POCO F3 GT. So further ado, let's unbox and see what we get inside the box and talk about the features, pros and cons and especially the best app, the camera. Inside the box, we see some paper guide with its warranty card and beneath the paper guide, we get to see the transparent glass cover which is absolutely fantastic for the cover. So below we can see the phone wrapped in a plastic cover and beneath the phone we got to see the cable usb cable wrapped in in nice form and the usb charger port inside the box the poco f3 gt is big and it has 6.6 .6 inch display with thin bezels on the side it has a metal frame that gives its premium looks and feel the four corners are flattened and the top and the bottom section of the frame are designed to make it comfortable to hold the f3 gt in landscape mode the F3 GT boost of powerful hardware. It is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 SoC. There is a support for SDR10 Plus and the panel has 240Hz dot sampling rate which gets bump up to 480Hz when game mode is enabled. Poco F3 GT weights 205 gram which is slightly on the heavier side. It is also IP53 rated which means it is a splash resistance. It pack a huge 500 65 power battery and comes with 67 watt fast charger in the box the charger is bigger than usual and has a bright yellow cable with an l safe type c connector this make it easy to play games or watch content while the phone is charging poco f3 gt packs a triple camera setup as a back consisting of 64 megapixel primary camera and 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and 2 megapixel macro camera for selfie it has 16 megapixel shooter camera app is pretty straightforward and easy to use it has a quick toggle for ai skin detection and sdr switching between different shooting mode is very easy and it also let you active date filters before taking a shot. Right, the frame has two sliders that can be pushed inward to engage two maglev triggers button. This can be used for gaming and they offer good clicky feedback. Thank you for watching till the end.